Hello everyone, Carlos here with a short video to show you a discovery set from a new perfume brand that I'll be giving away at my blog, brooklynfragranceflubber.com. The brand is called Eric Buterbaugh Florals. Eric is a florist to the stars, also known as the King of Roses. He has worked with Hollywood celebrities, fashion designers, royalty, and VIPs from around the world. He has partnered with longtime beauty industry veteran Fabrice Creuset to develop the brand with noses from Fermanish. The noses include Alberto Marias, Elias Hermandis, Honorine Blanc, Harry Fremont, and Pierre Negrin. This is what the Discovery set looks like. This has seven fragrances, 10 mil each sprays, but the one that will be given away at the blog actually has eight because there is a new fragrance launching in November. I'm gonna go through each of these reading from the EB Florals website. Apollo, a hyacinth fragrance. Alberto Murillas chose to focus on the stem of the hyacinth rather than its petals in creating this green floral fantasy. The result is as sugary with the addition of a pear note, mineral and watery as the flower sap itself. It is incredibly elegant and subtle all the way to its warm, soothing, woody finish. Celestial, a jasmine fragrance. A flower with a Persian origin has been reimagined by a Greek perfumer born in Istanbul. A perfect clash between the white sparkle of jasmine petals, the sensuality of ambergris as captured and reinterpreted in the ambrox molecule, and the darker carnal effect of amber. Fragile, a violet fragrance. Violet fragrances are typically all leaf, greener, watery, or all petal, sweeter, powdery, woody, floral. Alberto Morillas refused to choose and created a fragrance in equilibrium. The result is a gorgeous, delicate work of art that stays close to the skin and feels clean and resplendent all at once. Regal, a tuberose fragrance. This tuberose in the jungle was born from the travel memories of its creator, Honorine Blanc. Strong, intoxicating, and proud of its celebrated lineage in fragrance history, with a twist. A drop of grapefruit juice and a sting of pepper make it the most modern tuberose alive. Sultry, a rose fragrance. Eric's signature flower demanded an iconic, indelible fragrance interpretation. This rose is only that, a rose. A resplendent, unforgettable, haunting rose. Created by master perfumer Elias Armandis for himself a long while ago, it was given to Eric as an homage to his floral artistry. Velvet, a lavender fragrance. Both Eric and master perfumer Harry Fremont grew up with lavender. In fact, the entire back of Eric's floral shop is still covered with the flower. This creation is all warmth and sensuality, balance and intrigue. Vanilla, sage, sandalwood and musk come through, but lavender is the host, present from beginning to end. And last we have Virgin, a Lily of the Valley fragrance. Pierre Negrin conceived this delightful lily like a tower of glass where all is visible from the start, from top to bottom. The tingle of a citrus, the beauty of the lily, and the softness of musk are all present at once. The result is a lily floating in the air in all its white purity. This discovery set retails for $250 at ebforals.com. The one that we'll be giving away at brooklynfragrancelover.com, thanks to the generosity of Eric and Fabrice, will have a $280 retail value. Well, that's all I have for you today. Please keep it tuned to brooklynfragrancelover.com, where the article and the drawer will be posting soon. Take care.